this laid out here. Oh, we got a hole. Hello everyone. Back to the hunter gatherer slash honey gatherer channel. And I know you think you've already watched this show. You haven't. You watched another one just like it. That was from yesterday. And I came around the bend looking at the boxes, thinking about going and releasing that queen from the swarm yesterday that I put in the, ca the queen catcher. And I'm going to have to show you something that's right over here. And you probably already figured it out. First, we'll get this all laid right out here nice. We'll get this one laid in here right here. Now yesterday, we got in the hives, because we caught the swarm. We got in the hives because we caught the swarm, and I figured a couple of them are probably going to swarm. And what do you know? Right over here. We got the same situation again. Doggone. Decided I want to release the queen here real quick. Must have opened up somehow. Oh, yeah, I opened it up last night when I pushed them between the frames. All right, she's down in there doing her job. So let's close this up and let's go pick up those runaway bees. got a slight issue on this one they've weighed this branch down enough to where they're down in the in the uh, burdock bush below but I think if I cut some of this away what I'm planning on doing is just the same thing I'm gonna clip that whole branch off it's not a very big swarm I wish I had this one in that nuke but we're gonna take off with this Just kind of looking for that queen she could be here, she could be over there.
We're ready to ride the night out on that limb. And I don't know if the queen's in here or not. We're going to find out, hopefully. I'm just scanning the area. It, it is a real bummer to ha keep having these hives swarm because we're just losing, losing strength that way. And it is a shame, but I'm glad that I can at least catch the swarm and build another colony. Or keep another colony, let the other one build, I guess. I could just shake this. And hopefully find her, but I really didn't want to shake it. Well, let's go for it, what the heck. They're marching on in. I don't know if you see that or not. But it's just like a, a stream flowing into that box. And I'm watching for her. I'm not seeing her yet. Moving on and I think she might still be over there on that plant. I was hoping to find her. I still haven't seen her. She might have made it in. I might have missed her. I guess I gotta go check that area out again because I'm not seeing her here. Next a little section. I see more, more drones in this bunch than there was in that first shake. Did not see a queen. All right, there's a few more bees still over there, so go grab some more. Moving, ladies. Anybody seeing the queen yet? Me neither. Okay. 
I really hope she's in there already. There's a few more bees over this way, so. Guess who I just found? All by herself. I don't know if you see her. It's our virgin queen. She was up on the leaves over here. So I'm going to take this over to the box. I'm trying to decide, I might bring the box right over here and set it. I'm gonna use that queen pheromone. I got it right there on the frame. And hopefully they'll smell her and march all onto there. And then I'm gonna take it back over with the frame and everything and put it back in that box. All right, they're all making their way to it. It's a little more involved this time, but they're working it. That queen pheromone is really powerful. I guess you gotta figure it has to be, because they know that she's the only one that's gonna keep them alive. Keep them laying eggs and creating brood and keeping them strong and healthy. These ones are all up here, because that's where they left um, that that branch so they're trying to land where they know that they can all the bees over on the the bed sheet have made their way into the box so I'm gonna go once most of them get on this frame I'm gonna go put that back in the box and bring the box over and set it right where I am now and that'll get the rest of the bees in there and then at when it gets closer to dark, when all the bees have come back, I'm going to move them over to where all the other ones are. There we go. All right, everybody, that is another successful swarm capture. Like I said, I really don't want my bees swarming. It is nice that we were able to catch, um, well, all the ones that I've seen anyways. Uh, I haven't been here to notice if they're flying off. Just happened to come around and I saw the one on the tree over there and the one on the tree here and the one on the tree here. So I'm thankful to be able to catch them and get them in a box and hopefully be able to build them up strong enough for honey season. Um, but if I don't get any honey off of them, Hopefully just at least build them up strong enough to where they make it through winter. I mean, it's it's May, right? So we should be at least able to get some honey off them. But if not, they should build enough strong up, build enough, build up strongly enough <laughs> to where they've got so much honey going into winter that they should be great. I hope we don't have any more swarms. There might be one more that was going to swarm, possibly. Um, but we'll see. 
Anyway, that's going to be it for swarm capture number three of the spring. And like I said, I hope that's the last one. So with that being said, just want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you're learning something from these. If uh, nothing else, you're learning to make sure you put some honey supers on before they swarm on you. Make sure they have enough space. Make sure you're checking them more often. Uh, like I said, it was really cold and rainy and nasty and snowy and all the other things combined. And uh, so I just didn't get into them until too late. But at least they're strong and they're building up, so that's good. Okay, that's going to be it. Just want to let you know we love you. God loves you. And we'll see you on the next one. Any comments or questions, put them below and we'll try to answer them as uh, best as we can. Uh, we love comments and so it would be great. Uh, if you would have done something differently than what I just did, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, if you would, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. And that way you can see anything else that we put out. And that's going to be it. Have a great one. Happy beekeeping. We'll see ya.